Welcome to this BBO tutorial. In the video, we'll walk you through customising your preferences, from how the table's displayed, to chat settings and more. First, go to Account and click on Settings. Under General Preferences, you'll find options for your overall BBO screen setup. Starting with split screen, when it's turned on your screen will look like this, with the main screen on the left and the second screen on the right. If we go back and turn it off, you'll see just one large screen. Next, manage your sound effects and animations. Choose whether you'd like to hear sound effects and if you want animated card movements during games. With sound effects on, you'll hear sound notifications for various in-game actions. You can also customise these sounds by scrolling down to the sound section and selecting your preferences. Turning it off will mute these sounds. Moving on to animation. When it's turned on, cards will animate during gameplay like this. Turn it, turning it off will stop the animation. Next we'll have a look at playing preferences, which customises your table experience. Here you can choose whether you see actual cards or just the numbers, and set up bid and card confirmation prompts to avoid misbids and misplays. When show card is turned off, you'll see cards in numerical format only. Turning it on will show the actual cards just like this. To avoid misbids and misplays, you can select Confirm Bids to add an extra step as seen here. You'll need to click the confirmation button after you bid, which prevents any misbids. Turning it off removes the confirmation prompt and the bid will occur with a single click. The Confirm Card button is also there to prevent you from making unwanted errors and allows you to confirm before playing a card. Using this, you'll need to click the cards twice to play. When it's turned off, cards are played with a single click. You can also enable Auto Play Singletons to automatically play a singleton. When you turn it on, it automatically plays single cards during tricks. If it's turned off, then it requires manual card selection for every play. Keyboard entry for bidding play can speed things up by using keyboard shortcuts for bidding and playing cards. With this feature on, simply press the corresponding keys for your actions. For example, to make a two diamond bid, press 2 and D on your keyboard. And for pass, press P. To play a card, you can also, for example, press S and A to play the Ace of Spades. You can use the trumps on left function to move the trump suit to the left after the contract is made to remind you which is the trump suit. Now on to kibitzing preferences. Control what you see when watching a table 
As before, you can adjust how you want to view the cards, either in numeric or graphical format. You can also decide if you want to view the cards that have already been played. Show played cards highlights cards already played in the current hand, helping you to see the distribution of cards before they're played. When turned off, played cards remain hidden, but you can reveal them by clicking on the number of tricks under the contract on the left hand side. This allows you to see the cards played trick by trick. For, for reviewing the history table, you can also adjust the settings for card displays and visibility of previously played cards. Here you can also choose to adjust whether you want to view the cards played trick by trick or card by card. Next up, chat settings. With show chat on, the chat bar appears below the table or the main screen. Turning it off hides the chat bar, which means that you have to access chat through the message menu on the right hand side. Lobby chat displays messages from the BBO lobby. If you turn it on, you'll see all of the chats happening in the lobby. This feature is commonly used by tournament directors to make announcements, for example. If you turn the speak chat on, it will read out the incoming chat messages, including the lobby chat if it's on. How are you? Could have made partner. Ugly Gajawa Rua exclamation point H W P O. Moving to notifications, you can receive alerts when a player you follow logs in. You can also opt to be notified when a viewgraph session begins. Lastly, you can choose to receive notifications when a team match needs a player. When you turn these notifications on, a yellow box appears at the bottom right hand corner. You'll stop receiving notifications if you turn them off. Finally, you can also change your interface language as needed. Remember to reload the page or log back in for language changes to take effect. That's it, you're all set now to personalise your BBO experience. Please leave any comments or suggestions for other topics you'd like us to cover.